Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabub.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are live tonight and I have some great projects to share with you. But first I have a ton of cards that I wanna show you. I was gone last week, so I got a whole bunch of mail, which I'm really excited to share with you. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Linda. Hi, Mary. Don't forget, if you're watching on YouTube later, please feel free to share this video. That really helps me out. Also, don't forget to share right here on Facebook, too. You can click that button right now and give me a thumbs up. Click that like button. That really helps helps me get seen by more people, which is fabulous for my business, right? Hi, Diane. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sandy. Welcome. So happy to see you all popping in here. Karen's here and Mary. Uh, I wonder why I've got, I've got a little bar on the bottom of my screen that's weird, but who knows? I went to log in tonight and um, Facebook had some new features that it wanted to give me a tour of first. And I'm like, no, I don't have time for a tour. I need to be live in one minute. <laughs> and my house smells divine. So I've got some of those um, candle melty things. What are those called? You plug them in the wall and they melt the little, the little square deals that make your house smell good. So of course I've got what flavor going this time of year? Pumpkin spice. I've got apple pumpkin. I've got all kinds of different pumpkin um, scents. So my house smells really good from that and I just took out two pans of brownies out of the oven. So my Anna is moving. She's closing on her new house tomorrow and um, I have volunteered to make all the food. So I made a great big double batch of Sloppy Joes and I'm going to make chip dip when we're done here tonight. And I have the eggs and the potatoes cooked for homemade potato salad because Anna loves my potato salad. I learned how to make it at the White Horse Inn in Nilesville, Wisconsin. That was my very first job. I was 15 years old and I started there as a dishwasher. And then I was, um, I don't remember what they call it, but the person who sets up the plates and puts the garnishes on them and puts the baked potatoes and the, and the little cups of tartar sauce and shrimp dip and all that shrimp sauce and all that stuff. I did that. I was a hostess. I was a waitress. It's hard, hard work. So make sure you're tipping your wait staff well. I always have a big appreciation for that. Um, anyways, so I'm making all this food when I'm done tonight. And really all I have to make is, oh look, I just came up live <laughs> on my computer. Um, all I really have to make is the potato salad and frost the brownies. So I'm providing the food for the people that are helping move tomorrow. So, and Sue says she just ordered some of those scent, scented wax blocks. Ooh, she got peppermint and pine for the holidays. I know I love the pine one too around Christmas. Mm, yum. Thanks you guys for the share. Really appreciate it. So my house smells really good and it's empty. Yeah, my husband is up north hunting, so he was going to come home today, but he was actually um, rebuilt one of our hunting stands, and um, it's Haley's stand that she sits in for gun hunting, so he rebuilt that with my brother today, and he said he was just really tired. He called me, said he's really tired, and he was going to go hunting tonight, and then go to bed, and come home in the morning, because we're helping Anna move tomorrow, so... Busy, busy week here. Okay, um, what else do I have going on this week? I have a blog hop. Where's my calendar? I have a blog hop on Friday, Totally Techniques blog hop. You don't want to miss that. We are actually going to be working with the whitewash technique. So that's really fun. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be using the Gather Together suite again because well I don't know for sure but I have it out that's what I'm going to also work on after I get the potato salad done and the brownies frosted that'll be my job tonight so yeah Kathy says she started at 15 as a dishwasher too and worked her way up to a cook Ooh, good for you yeah I never cooked anything except baked potatoes in the microwave that's all I cooked when I worked there but um, I, I learned a lot of valuable things from that supper club. And one of those valuable things was how to make really, really good potato salad. So that's kind of, um, yeah, pretty cool, right? <laughs> 
All right, so I'm gonna share some cards that I received in the mail this week, and let me make sure I have this one the right way. So I have a old-fashioned Christmas stamp camp coming up on November 1st and 2nd. It's only available locally, meaning that if you live in the area, um, you can come, but if you're long distance, I'm not doing any to-go packets. It's just this time of year is crazy for me being gone a lot, so I can't, I can't do all that. But this card came from Shelly Olson with her check to register for that stamp camp, and isn't this just gorgeous? And she didn't write in it, so I'll be using it. Thank you, Shelly. I appreciate that, and it's a great way to pay it forward, right, to share the beauty of these cards. So that came from Shelly, and then I got two beautiful cards here from Linda Gilbert. Yes, Linda Gilbert. Linda submitted these for my layout challenge, and isn't that just a really neat idea to do with that layout challenge? If you remember, I had that layout challenge, and um, she's got a bunch of stuff on the inside here. It's a thank you card. You're the best. Thanks so much. Very, very cool. And then we've got this cutie patootie. Look at that. It's a shaker card. Isn't that adorable? And again, it's using that layout challenge. Very, very cool way to make this card. Whoops. And I just dropped something. And then this is the inside. And isn't that neat? Yeah. Oh, Cindy wants me to share my potato salad recipe. Well, Cindy... I don't know if I can really do that. And I'm not trying to be like, oh, it's my potato recipe, uh, potato salad recipe. I'm not. I just throw everything together. Um, I put onions in it and um, mustard and mayonnaise and Lowry salt and some garlic, garlic and sugar and potatoes. I think the biggest thing with potato salad is you people usually skimp on the eggs. And to make a really good potato salad, you use as many eggs as you do potatoes. So if you have 10 potatoes, you use 10 hard boiled eggs. And a lot of people don't do that. And that just makes it so much more mm, luscious. <laughs> so, um, and I really do, I just throw everything together. I don't have any measurements. I just put in as much mayo as I have potatoes cut up. Make sure your potatoes are done. Nobody likes that crunchy potato. At least we don't here. Um, that's icky, but um, that's, that's it. I just, those are the things I put in it and I just, oh, salt and pepper to taste. That's about it. Delicious. So let's see, what did Linda say? Oh, no, this is from somebody else. And we're going to have a little talk about this note that I got. <laughs> All right. Sharon Jones, she has been using that come to gather sweet. And isn't this just a beautiful, beautiful card? And Sharon said, hi, Kelly and Steve. Have a most wonderful fall, y'all. Thank you, Sharon. This is absolutely beautiful. And then we have Jenny Miller. Jenny sent me a card with a little note in it. And she said that she has been inspired by both Steve and I. She's got some um, things that she needs to overcome. And I am very happy to hear that, that hearing somebody else's story makes you feel like you're not alone, right? Yeah. And here is Jenny's card. Isn't this just adorable? Those ornate frames with the Monster Bash bundle is super, super cool. Love this, Jenny. Thank you very much. And then we've got, this I think is from Jen Morgan. Yep. And she was a winner at the September team meeting. So I have a team meeting every month. Is, is my lighting cruddy? Let me see if I can adjust some things here. Um, I have a team meeting every um, month. And for my discount shoppers or business builders that are too far away to attend the meeting, we do a Facebook Live just like I'm doing right here. And that's pretty cool because... Anybody who watches the meeting live gets entered in the door prize drawings. So everybody gets the opportunity to watch the meeting and um, win the prizes. And Sharon says half-cooked potatoes ruined the salad. Yeah, they're gross, right? We do not like half-cooked half potatoes. And another thing that I've noticed, you know how they make the mashed potatoes at some restaurants? This happens a little more down south than around here. But they leave the peels on the mashed potatoes, and then they look like mud. 
<laughs> I don't know. I think it's kind of gross. <laughs> we take the peels off the potatoes when we make mashed potatoes and potato salad. Um, but I suppose it's all what you grow up with, right? Then I have a beautiful card from Laureen Thruft. And she is thanking me for the brightly gleaming paper she um, won. And she's loving my monthly online technique club. Look at I, this just really like caught me like, oh my gosh, look at those gorgeous flowers with our fall bundle. And of course, the flowers are in kind of fall colors. So I just thought this was absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful card, Lorene. And then we have Jackie Blersch. I hope I'm saying your last name right, Jackie. Look at this pretty card. Absolutely gorgeous. And I think Jackie told me, yeah, it says, FYI, this card was a total case. And what does that mean? Copy and share everything. Case. And, uh, hey, Jackie, I case all the time. That's what we do. We find something we like and we can make it just like it is. You don't have to change a thing, right? I do that a lot. And she just wanted to send me a quick note to thank me for all the inspiration that I share and um, spreading stamping joy. Yeah, thank you very much. These cards always warm my heart. Then I received, oh, that remind. oh yeah, I've got it written down. Um, for those of you that may not know, I have an online technique club. And if you go to my blog, www.stampabove.com, go down the right-hand column and scroll down until you see online technique club. And you'll get all the details there. But you place a minimum order every month for a consecutive six months. And at the end of that time, I give you a $30 credit towards an order of whatever you want. And I have to talk to Jane Freeman because Jane filled out, she she filled in her rewards form and sent it to me. And by the way, I got three of those this week. So if you guys are one of them, they're on my list. And I usually place those orders towards the end of the month or the beginning of the next month. So just know that. Hi, Danette. Hi, Cindy Ellers. Cindy got a six point. Was it a six point buck, Cindy? Um, Friday night, I want to say. Yeah, Cindy is my friend from my over by my mom's house. And she's also on my team. And she's also a bow hunter. Woohoo! So, um, Jane, back. let's get back to Jane for a minute because we need to have a little chat about Jane. Jane says, thank you so much for your inspiration, guidance, and encouragement. I am still not confident enough to send you a card, but have enjoyed every one you've, I've made. Jane, I want everybody to leave a comment for Jane and tell Jane to say, Jane, send Kelly a card. And I don't want you guys to ever think like that, like that your cards aren't good enough to send to me because you know what? A card will brighten your day and it doesn't matter whether you're an expert or a beginner. A card will brighten your day. So Jane needs to send Kelly a card. <laughs> and Cindy said it was a six point buck. So happy for her. That's hard work. Bow hunting is hard work. And by the way, you guys, I left and went to my mom's house early before I went to Kansas City, Kansas and Kansas City last week to go bow hunting and didn't even get to go because it was so windy and cold and rainy and I'm just not going to sit out in that. Yeah, look at you guys. Jane, send Kelly a card. She will love it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We need to build up Jane so that she will send me a card. <laughs> All right, we've got some winners from last week. How did you guys like my Facebook Live from St. Michael, Minnesota? Um, I was at Terry Sampson's retreat log cabin. It was so gorgeous, and Terry was so gracious. I felt terrible because she made us some chicken wild chicken wild rice soup, I think, and um, put food and snacks in the refrigerator, and we didn't eat a thing because we went to Bubba Gump's at Mall of America. And we were stuffed beyond stuffed when we got to the cottage or the log cabin. So anyways, Terry, thank you so much. You're so sweet. We had a really nice time. And Terry took us to the airport at the crack of dawn the next morning and also picked us up when we got back in. So bless her, right? And Terry is somebody that I met through Facebook Live. She started watching me and bam, we connected. And she invited me to come up and stay overnight at her cabin. And I'm like, okay. It was really cool. So 
Yeah, Diana says she loved it. She has a beautiful place. She really, really does. All right, so we have winners from last week. I have the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels that I'm going to gift. This is for leaving a comment. So if you're watching, but you're just lurking and you're not making any comments, you need to leave at least one comment so that you're entered into the drawing for prizes. And the winner of these beautiful rhinestones is Trudy Hudson of Almagordo, Almagordo, New Mexico. So Trudy, congratulations. I will try my best to get these out in the mail tomorrow. Next, we have um, a category for sharing the video, whether you're sharing it on YouTube or sharing it on Facebook, you will get entered into this category. I have the stylish scroll embossing folder. This is going out to Elaine Rebeck of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Elaine, congratulations, and I'm going to see Elaine tomorrow night. So hang on because I'm going to put this over by my bin that goes with me to Fond du Lac. And <laughs> you guys might think this is really weird, but... Yeah, I don't put celery in my potato salad, Debbie. No. <laughs> Debbie just said no celery. Yuck. And I do like celery, but not in my potato salad. But anyways, um, what was I just saying? Oh, a weird thing that I do is I will take stuff that needs my attention. Like I just took that embossing folder and I just tossed it on the floor over there. Because when I leave my office, I toss a whole bunch of stuff on the floor. I'll toss mail over there. When I leave my office, I have to trip over this stuff so I don't forget it to take it to where it belongs, like in the mail pile in the kitchen or put it in my bin to go to Fond du Lac. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Is that kind of weird? I know I'm a little weird. I'm okay with being weird. <laughs> Rhonda says, stampers are the best people. They are the nicest people. They're always kind and generous. Yes, I have found that also. Um, yeah, Mary, those jewels are really nice. They're super pretty. We have one more giveaway, and that is for orders in the last week. And Itty Bitty Christmas. This is has 18 different greetings in here, all about Christmas. It works really well with our, what is that called? Hang on. Um, classic label punch. Let me grab that. Classic label punch. This one. Oops, sorry. I was going to show you the label, but this one. These work really, really good with that. The winner for placing an order last week is Amy Michael of Springfield, Virginia. So congratulations, everybody. Now, see what I do with these. Where did that other thing go? Oh, I put it over there for Elaine. See, I can't remember a thing, you guys. I take these and I set them right over here so that I don't lose them in any piles of stuff because, oh my Lord, we have piles. I have to tell you guys, I've got more stuff coming in here. Like I'm got a whole bunch of bubble envelopes. I'm looking over there, whole bunch of bubble envelopes. I've got a great big, huge pack of packing tape for all these pre-cut cardstock and these kit classes that I'm doing. I need more equipment, right? To be able to do that. My room is so crowded right now. You can barely walk through here and I don't know what I'm going to do about it. <laughs> like I need to move. I need to move into a bigger room and we have a bigger bedroom upstairs, but it's right up against my bedroom and my husband goes to um, sleep really early. So I can't be in there making videos because he can hear me through the wall. Yeah, I don't know what to do, but I've really outgrown this space. So are you guys, um, should we stamp now or should I show you these gorgeous swap cards? What do you guys want to do? Let me know. I'm going to bring myself up here on the screen. Oops, that's Jody. Jody just sent me something. I'm not quite sure. Jody, I'll have to look at that later. And, oh, Kathy says she loved Haley's video. Yeah, the Packers won today. They killed them, didn't they? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if you were rooting for the other team. But, yeah, it was a good game. I watched it. And then towards um, when they were really like winning a lot, I actually went on my bike ride today and my walk. So that was pretty cool. All right. I'm trying to find my video here, you guys. So just give me a minute. Oh, Diana says the video was a real tear jerker. I know. I've watched it like eight times and I tear up every single time. It's like really kind of weird because... I don't know. <laughs> it's my baby, right? And it was so happy and so cool. And it was just such a beautiful wedding. And yeah, it was it was a lot, a lot, a lot of work. But it was worth every 
every minute we spent on it. It really was. Okay, I'm hearing, show the swaps, show the swaps. Here we go. We're showing the swaps. Um, oh, Jody says she accidentally shared my video with me. That's okay. <laughs> it happens. Oh, this one is by Wendy Sue Winter. Look at how pretty that is. Have you guys seen that star set that we have? This is the brightly gleaming paper. Okay. And then we're using, she used the gold or copper, copper um, ink pad. And I finally just got this. I didn't order it quick enough and they went on back order right away, but I got it now. Wendy Sue Winter made this. So all of these swap cards that I have are from my team meeting swap. And this is made by my team. Business builders don't care whether you're a business builder or a discount shopper. You can get all your stuff at a discount. Watch this. Yeah. How cool is that, right? Uh-huh. And this one is Nancy Ellison. Nancy is a newer member to my team, but holy cow, I think she's been stamping quite a while. What do you guys think? Right? Yeah, this is way cool. Uh, let me put this back in here so I don't forget who made that because, whoops, hang on. I don't want to misplace that. Oh, and then this is the inside. She just put the little strip down here. I just like carrying that over, right? It's very pretty. Then we have this one. Let me see who made this one. This is from Jay Shante. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? Yeah. And Jay also, whoops, put the little piece of the designer series paper in there. This is the um, wrapped in plaid designer series paper. Beautiful. And then we have, oh, I lost the thing. I don't know who made this. Oh, I'm so sorry. But this was made by one of my team members. Gosh, I'm thinking if it'll pop into my head. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, this is with the um, First Frost Designer Series paper in here. Gorgeous. <gasps> this one, hang on, is by Patty Hall. Okay, you guys, check this out. Are you ready? So this is the back. This is the front. This is with that 2L Tidings. Did I say that right? I say it wrong all the time. Okay, look at that. Huh? Yeah. Isn't that stinking adorable? Yeah, love it. Somebody said you're gonna show um, how to make that card. Yeah, I probably will. I think I'm gonna take this. I'll put it over here in my idea uh, bin. I've got some cards in a bin over there that I want to share with you guys. Okay, here's another doozy. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, this is made by Kathy Miller, and it opens up. Look how pretty that inside is. This is an easel card because it props right up there. So you put this layer on dimensionals so it sticks up a little bit, and then it holds it right in there. Isn't that cool? Yeah, and this is just strikingly beautiful. Very, very pretty. Then we have... Hang on. Oh my gosh, I can't get the cards open tonight. Kathy Beck made this beautiful card. Look how pretty that is. I am going to show you how to get that deer on there tonight. I've got a really cool technique that I'm going to be sharing with you. Beautiful, beautiful card. Oh, I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> Too much information? Hang on, i got to turn my fan on. Whew. Heavens. Okay, let me get that back in there. Then we have this adorable card by Renee Atkinson. I love this little snowman and the little snowflakes that she put over here. Isn't that cool? The tufted background down here. Renee stamped a greeting on the inside too. Super, super cute snowman. And then this one is by Patty Skiba. Look at that. Do you love that skate? I think that skate is gorgeous. Okay, and watch. And watch. Yeah. Isn't that crazy, you guys? These were our team meeting swaps. So every month at my team meeting, we host a swap. Kathy Miller actually takes care of all the details. And anybody who wants to swap with us just posts on our team page and says, um, I would like to join. And then 
um, like a couple weeks before the swap is due, Kathy will tell them what the number is. So this time I think we had to make 10. So you would make 10 of your card and send it, if you're far away, you send it to Kathy. And she brings it to the meeting and swaps it out and mails it back to you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Swapping is amazing. And you guys know that I get a lot of my ideas from swap cards. I mean, that's where my ideas come from. I am not the most creative person. I know you might find that shocking, <laughs> but it's the truth. One last thing I wanted to show you, our newest paper pumpkin kit. This is called Winter Woods. This is our October kit, and I have just opened mine up, but uh, let's see if I have it right, right set up. These are the images. Yeah, a little cardinal in there, some great greetings, snowflake. We got a Knight of Navy ink spot, and then it opens up just like a package from Tiffany's, and it's so fun because it just seems so elegant. These are the beautiful cards that Stampin' Up! has designed for us this month. And everything is contained in this little package. I haven't even opened mine yet, but I will because I have, of course, the um, Paper Pumpkin Blog Hop that I need to participate in. So I make um, a couple alternate ideas every month using the kit. So let's say you get the kit and you don't, like the cards aren't rocking your world. Or... It's a treat favor. Like, hang on, I have these cutie patooties. Okay, and let's say you're not into treat favors. You don't, you don't need a box like this. Well, I have created two cards made with this kit from last month, super, super cute. And so I provide my paper pumpkin customers, when you subscribe through me, with around 15 different alternate ideas every month that I send you in a PDF file. So it's pretty cool. And I'm also part of a blog hop that um, shows you, gosh, 15 to 20 more ideas. So that's pretty cool, too. So if you've ever thought about Paper Pumpkin, also, again, in, on my blog in the right-hand column, there is a Paper Pumpkin button. When you click on that, it'll take you right to my Paper Pumpkin store, and you can start a subscription. It's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, I didn't even get out my list of things tonight. Where is my list of things? Here it is. I don't even think I, I don't think I need to announce anything. Um, I got locked up in jail again last week. Facebook jail, that is. Um, somebody hacked my account and was sending, uh, you know, the message to, how are you doing? When somebody, please don't ever send me a private message that says, how are you doing? Okay, because that's how the spammers start. How are you doing? And then when you say, good what's up? I was, what's up? And then they say, have you heard the good news or something like that? And it's like, oh my Lord, here we go. So somebody hacked my account and I went to post something Monday morning as we were getting ready to take off on an airplane in Minneapolis. And, um, I got locked down. I'm like, I didn't even do anything. Like I hadn't been on Facebook since the night before. So but then I found out I got hacked, so that explains what happened there. But anyways, um, yeah, so what else is new? Not much. My trip was great. I got to go back to my hometown and see everything there. That was really fun. Um, my mom was pretty impressed with the amount of things that I remembered because we moved back to Wisconsin when I was 11. And uh, I got us to the municipal swimming pool. I wanted to go see it because I would ride my bike there every day in the summer. And my mom kept saying, I don't think it's by the railroad tracks. And I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. And it was. And we found out my old house and all three of my schools. I had three different elementary schools that I went to there. And um, what else did we find? We went downtown where, you know, we used to go downtown to the drugstore all the time. Um, found the old apartment that we lived in. We couldn't find the stables where we boarded our horses. That was the one thing we couldn't find, and I think it's gone now, which made me kind of sad. But anyways, it was really fun. So, we had a great trip. We went to see my aunt and my two cousins. That was really fun. And my aunt is doing way better than my mom thought she would be doing. My mom thought she was going to get there and she was going to be all decrepit or something. I don't know, but she's doing really well. Getting, a, getting around great. Um, she looks pretty healed to me. So my aunt had a couple of heart attacks this last summer. 
and couldn't come to visit. She usually comes and stays with my mom for two to three weeks, and they run all over the place shopping and doing all kinds of fun stuff, but um, she couldn't come because she had a couple heart attacks. But she's better now, so that's good news. And we were happy to stay with her, and I think she loved having us. Oh my gosh, I'm over 400, you guys. 400 people watching me, that's more than I probably have ever had. Thank you. That just made my night. Yeah, it's one of many things that make my night, right? Okay, I just unloaded all the goodies so that we can start our first card in case you're going like, oh my Lord, is she ever gonna stamp? I am gonna stamp, I promise. <laughs> okay, we're gonna turn our, um, I'm gonna turn the camera around now. If I happen to miss some of your questions, please keep asking. Just keep, be, you know, like, oh, I don't want to be annoying. Be annoying because it's hard for me to stamp and talk and keep my mind in the same place and look at my screen to see all the questions. So just know that it's hard. <laughs> I do my best, but it is hard. All right, we're going to flip this camera around. Close your eyes if you'd like to. And I'll let you know when you should open them again. I don't want anybody throwing up. <laughs> Just wait till I get everything straight here and I have to mirror my screen. There we go. I should say unmirror it. Okay, we're looking good. I'm plugged in. Let me get that cord out of the way. I think I'm close enough to my table so y'all are going to see what I'm making here. Okay, first things first. I am going to bring in my piercing mat. This is just a piercing mat that I keep covered with um, printer weight paper, just so I don't stamp all over it. And it's a good surface to stamp on. I'm gonna use this adorable back on your feet again because, well, why wouldn't you? It's so, so cute. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. Oh my gosh, I was thirsty. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my regular old bottle here with my strawberry lemonade. Oh, oh, I have good news. So I ate like a complete pig last week. Like there were many days where I ate so much, I just didn't even feel good. It was terrible. Um, but I only am up two pounds, two pounds. And so I went for my bike ride walk yesterday, went for my bike ride walk today. And I don't think um, I actually really gained any weight. It's probably water weight from all the salt, right? But I was pretty happy with myself because I really thought that I was going to come home and be like seven or eight pounds up, but I'm not. So that was exciting. All right, here we go. We are going to, I don't know what this is for, um, use this back on your feet stamp set. Now I got a card from, Kit. well, I didn't get a card. <laughs> Steve got a card. It wasn't for me. It was for Steve. He got a card from Kim Siriana. And I absolutely fell in love with this card. So I am going to make it for you guys so you can see how to do it. It's called a tent card. And what we've got here is a piece of old olive cardstock. This is four and a quarter by six and a half. And all of these measurements will be posted on the um, above, I should say, is it? Above the video in the description, once I'm done here tonight, I will type up all the dimensions and I will post them there in case you want to recreate these projects. So I just want you to know that. Or if we're going along, you can write them down if you want to. So four and a quarter by six and a half, and then it's scored at three and a half, or you just fold it in half, depending on which way you um, cut your cardstock, depends on whether you can fold it in half or not, because you know there's a grain in the paper. When you get the little lumpy things, that's the grain that doesn't fold the nice way. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Anyways, okay, this little layer is for the inside, and this is two and three quarters by three and three quarters, and I think we're going to stamp that right away. And I'm using Memento ink here. So this says, hope you're back on your feet soon. And I just had my friend Kathy Miller make me a whole bunch of these get well cards because you need get well cards at a moment's notice, right? You don't have a couple days because like if somebody's sick, they're not going to be sick anymore if you wait too long. I like to have get well cards on hand so I can send them out immediately. Then I've got two pieces of Pretty Peacock and um, both of these are... 
three by four. One of them is going to go under this layer. Hang on, i got to find my glue. Ooh, lemon tea, diet coke, mug, root beer. That sounds good. Root beer sounds good, Roger. Mm. Is it really Roger watching? Sometimes we have people watching that are under somebody else's account. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this right here, and this is going to go right on the inside of my card. Now, remember, I called this a tent card, and I'll show you why in just a minute. Maybe. Get this straight. Okay, there we go. Then we've got another layer. Um, this is the second layer of that pretty peacock. We're going to just set that down for a second. I'm going to bring in one of the stitched shape circles, and we're going to stamp that cutie patootie little turtle. Oh, good. It's hard to stamp when you're not right over top of what you're doing, and I don't want my head in the screen, right? All right, then we're going to color that. This is quick and easy to color. I've got dark mossy meadow here, and I'm going to color oops, my little turtle. I should be using a smaller end. Before I forget you guys, I'm afraid I'm going to get to the end here and forget to tell you this, but I am going to be leaving town on Wednesday. I'm headed to Chicago. I'm going to do some training with some fellow Stampin' Up! demonstrators. They needed some technology training and asked me if I would be willing to do that. And I told them I would. Actually, I think I should have used the lighter one on here. So, yeah light mossy meadow, but I'll show you the, the other card that I have. I made this, I recreated this card from Kim quite a while ago, so I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> well, that's good, Kelly. Way to go. This turtle will turn out just fine. Um, anyways, I'm headed to Chicago, and then from there, I'm headed down to Bettendorf, Iowa, to, I'm a guest presenter at a retreat down there. So, and you guys want to know what I'm making at the retreat? What I'm presenting? It's a creative presentation. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm making, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be working on that when I'm done with the whitewash technique for my blog hop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we've got that. And then I've got, let's see, I've got light and dark. Yep, light and dark here. So I'm going to take the light grainy apple green and I'm going to color in the turtles. Oh, you know what? I think I was supposed to use old olive. Hang on. I told you that I didn't know what it was doing. I wasn't, I wasn't lying. Here we go. Light and dark old olive, you guys. Look how you can color right over that. Yeah. And life is good. Oh, it's a little brighter than the other one. I think we'll just oh, we'll just have a brighter square. Squares don't have to be uniform on turtles, do they? <laughs> no. So anyways, back to my little story. I do not know if I am going to be live next Sunday. I'm thinking that I will. So just watch my page because I'm not sure if I'm coming home Sunday or Monday. I'm going to try to be live. I can be live from Iowa, I think. We'll see how that goes. But one thing that determines whether I'm going to be live or not is if I can get anything made before I leave on Wednesday. That's the kicker, right? i got to have time to make stuff. Okay, and then we're going to do the lighter old olive on the turtle head. Isn't he just hysterical? He looks like he is scared to death. And of course, if a turtle's on their back, they're going to be scared to death, right? Because they shouldn't be on their back. There we go. Okay. Marlene says she loves this set. I love this set. Who doesn't love these images, right? They are stinking adorable. Okay, so we've got light and dark old olive and dark, uh, probably light mossy meadow. Let's go with that. I'm going to put these other markers away so I can put the right things in the instructions. You're always going to find a um, complete shopping list on my blog when I post this after I'm done with the Facebook Live, you guys. You're always going to find 
all the ingredients for everything I use. So if you're like, oh, I can't remember what color she used, you can go to my blog and you're going to find these markers will be shown in a picture on there in my supply list, just so you know. That just makes it a lot nicer and easier for you. Okay, isn't he stinking adorable? Yeah, he's pretty cute. All right, next what we're gonna do, we've also got, this is the Noble Peacock foil sheets. And this is three, whoops, three and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then we are gonna run it through this hammered metal embossing folder. And this kind of looks like turtle shell, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, and I wanna make sure which way. I want, I'm gonna put my foil sheet face down. So I've got my Stampin' Up! logo here. I've got my sheet face down because I want it to poof up, not be inverted. I want it to be poof. All right, hang on. Don't forget with these new, this is a 3D folder, you need the 3D embossing plate. And if you go to my store, you're gonna look this up. It's called 3D embossing plate. You just put it in the search engine, it'll pop right up. Let me grab my big shot. When you're using these 3D um, folders, you only use the blue plate. There's no other plate here, just the blue one and your Big Shot platform. So let's run that through. My poor Big Shot, it's been through, you know what. Yeah, I don't wanna get censored. Censored on YouTube for swearing, so I'm not gonna say it, but it has been through a lot. And you know what I mean. <laughs> And look at that. Is that not totally cool? Does that look like turtleish to you? I thought it looked turtleish. Okay, we are going to take that and we're going to add it to this layer. See what I mean by inverted? This goes in, this poofs up. I can make my glue work here. There we go. I love that noble peacock foil paper. It's just super, super pretty. I think you get, do you get four sheets of each in a pack? I think you do. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to take some of this beautiful reversible ribbon and this is Old Olive on one side, this side, whoops, hang on. Old Olive on this side and Pretty Peacock on the other side. And this ribbon is just gorgeous. So I'm gonna take some of this and I want the pretty peacock side, the side that's out here, because that's going to contrast better with my old olive foil, right? Okay. And we are going to... Yep, here we go. Now, you can use mini glue dots or whatever works for you. I just happen to have tape right here on my desk. It's really crummy tape. Um, we bought it from the Amish liquidation store <laughs> and it doesn't like to tear nicely like it doesn't tear off of the thing but I bought like a gazillion rolls of it because it was only 50 cents so who wouldn't have done that right tape is expensive all right there we go we are going to mount this onto our little tiny card front oops I'm gonna I'm gonna do this again this is a, it's really popping up there. It's so weird. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to put this right on here. And aren't those colors just so stunning together? Old Olive and Pretty Peacock. Then I am going to take my little turtle guy and I'm going to put him right in the middle with some dimensionals. So, I don't want my turtle to fall off. Hang on, I gotta get an envelope. Got a very vanilla envelope here. So, one thing you wanna be sure of is that if you're making a card like this, and we're not gonna have any problem with that, but you don't want this to be bigger than your envelope, right? Because then you're gonna have to make an envelope. So that's what I was measuring for. I just wanted to make sure that this is gonna fit in here. And I'm gonna take this and put my dimensionals down at the bottom. You need to keep them close to the bottom. I'm putting three on here because I don't want my card to fall apart. Not that it probably would, but you know what I mean. 
And we're going to put that right here. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, then we have a little bit of embellishing to do. I'm going to grab... Now this is from the Healing Hugs stamp set. And this says, Sending You Healing Vibes. And we're going to come in with this Timeless Label Punch. And... I'm going to punch this out a little closer to the bottom. Do you see that I don't have it centered from top to bottom? It's a little bit closer to the bottom because we're going to add one of these designer elements to that label. Let me get this closed up before I have some type of an accident. And I'm just going to take one of these designer label or one of these designer elements and that's going to go right here. And that's just kind of a neat little embellishment for that. Then um, oops, you know what I forgot? I forgot my little square. Do I have that here? No, I didn't write it down. Hang on. I'm gonna grab some peacock. All right, I got a little scrap of peacock here. Let me see what size this needs to be. I probably had it there and then threw it away. So one and three eighths by one and a half. One and three eighths by one and a half. One and three eighths by one and a half. There we go. Okay. One and three eighths by one and a half. Let me write that down so I don't forget to put it in your directions. One and three eighths by one and one half. Okay. There we go. My chair go. I don't want to end up falling on the floor. Nobody needs that, right? Okay, and what we're going to do here is we're just going to put a little glue right down the middle of this layer. And like I said, this was a card from Kim Siriani. And I just thought all these little elements together were so cool. Because that's a square back here. But look at how neat that looks, right? It just really layers well on here. So we're going to bring our turtle back in. And I've also got a one and three quarter inch gold foil circle that's punched. And I always like to use my snail adhesive with the foil when you're gluing something onto foil. It just seems to work better at sticking. I don't have to wait for it to dry. We're just going to center that right on there like that. Isn't that cool? It's all these little things you do that just really take your cards to amazing. All right. I'm look, I just scrolled up on my screen. Do you use your Stampin' Up! trimmer much? I always hear you using the old one. Well, the old one sits right here on my desk. I actually have the new one right here. This is the new, oh, it's upside down. This is the new Stampin' Up! trimmer, and I'm very happy with it. It's working really well. You have this nice arm here. I like it. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, and that means less things can possibly break on a paper trimmer, right? But you always hear me using the guillotine one because, I don't know, that was just always my favorite. We don't sell it anymore, right? So, keen ears there. <laughs> yeah. All right, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a dimensional here and here, and then we're gonna stick this on here. Just like this. I should have put my turtle up a little bit higher, you guys. Let me see if I can pull it off. Oh, there we go, look at that. I'm gonna stick these, because it's foil, I was able to pull that off like that. Okay, here goes my turtle. Oops, hang on. Oh, I'm going to pull that dimensional off because it's not cooperating with me. How about we do that? Now, that was hard to pull off, so it's not like my card was going to fall apart. I just want to move my turtle up because he was a little too close to all this. The last thing I'm going to do here, you guys, is take a piece of this reversible ribbon and... Just tie a little bit on here. It looks like you've tied a faux knot. Just like that. And, oh, my stomach is growling. <laughs> I hope you can't hear that. 
I did just eat a yogurt. I had some chili earlier today. Steve made chili for me before he left and went up north because he's nice like that. All right, what should I say here? Hmm. I could stamp a turtle. I think I will. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stamp a turtle in green. I don't necessarily want to color my turtle on the front of my card. Or my envelope, I mean. So I'm going to take old olive and I'm gonna put my little turtle right there look how cute that is okay you guys this is called a tent card because this is kind of like a tent I don't know why they call it that but that's what it is anytime you put a little element up here with a short card it's called a tent card super cute right yeah Kim Siriani made this now let me show you hers she used the mosaic embossing folder everything else is exactly the same but she used the mosaic embossing folder. And when I saw this, I'm like, ah, oh, hammered metal looks like a turtle shell. Maybe. Kind of. But hers is just beautiful, right? Yeah. Okay, let me get this stuff cleaned up because we have some more fun in store. We're going to put all this away. Did you guys have a good weekend? I didn't even ask you about your weekend. Did anybody do anything this weekend that's... You know, I don't know. Did you go any place? Did you have any weddings? Pauline says she loves that silly turtle. I do too. Yeah, the ribbon is really pretty too, Debbie. And Jackie says she loves the new trimmer. She cut a bunch of cardstock this weekend and every piece was perfect. You can even cut to a sixteenth of an inch. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. I'm really happy with it. It is very, very pretty. Oh, Roz just said it would be even more awesome if you ink the embossing folder with the copper ink. Oh, that would be a great idea, too. Yeah. Okay, putting away all this stuff. And this. I'll leave these over here because we're going to bring those back out at the end. And get all my bits and pieces cleaned up here so you don't have to look at my little garbage pile. <laughs> right? Okay, next. My next project. Okay, oh my gosh, I've got, oh, I just made a big mess. Hang on. Just threw a whole bunch of stuff off of my desk. All right, now, you guys remember these, right? I just brought those back in here so I'm using this paper again and I'm just going to kind of lay these out here so you can see them until I get everything unloaded then you have something very pretty to look at these are the crackers that I shared um, last week sometime and it's using the brightly gleaming specialty designer series paper so we're going to bring in the stamp set and pretty peacock ink. Here's the punches that go with this. They are beautiful. Set these over here. I've got our one and, a, one and three quarters and our starburst punch. And then also the detailed trio. I haven't used this in a while. And the gorgeous, gorgeous vanilla copper Merry Christmas ribbon. Whoops, let's turn it right side up, Kelly. How about that? This is all part of all part of this suite right here. What else do I have? I have the foil elements here. I am not using them on this card, but they're amazing too. Wanted you to be able to see those. And then the copper stars. And I love that we have all these suites that go together because... It just makes life easier, right? Okay, and I've got tear and tape. So I have a super cool project to share with you. And then I'll show you where I got the idea. Um, and I've made this before, but I don't think I've ever made it for a Facebook Live, and it's been a few years. Oops, let me get rid of this. There's my little turtle card, and here's my little cheat notes, because half the time I can't remember. <laughs> Yeah, you guys understand, right? <laughs> it's a problem. Okay, first thing we're going to do 
is I am going to bring out these copper dotted, copper dotted treat bags, and you get a whole pack of 10 of these for $5.50. And they're all these little gift bags, little gift bags, super, super fun. $5.50 for 10 of them, that's pretty inexpensive. And I'm gonna bring in that brand new paper cutter. Now this paper cutter isn't available to the public um, quite yet. Demonstrators or discount shoppers, if you join my team, you're able to order this now. But we're kind of holding off, Stampin' Up! is, um, putting this out to the public until demonstrators are done with the pre-order. And then we're gonna see where our inventory is at because we don't want to get into a situation where we've had this for sale for you know a month and it's on back order. That's not fun for anybody. So you've got a front to this bag and you've got a back to the bag. There's a seam in the back, there's a seam down here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to score this at four inches. So this is the bottom of the bag. We're gonna score at four inches on the back. And this has got a nice little scoring blade in here. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this back. So we've got the part of the bag that's a little bit shorter in front is here, and the back part is right here on the front. I just wanna make sure you know that. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring in my bone folder, give that a good burnish. This is a super easy card to make. Next, I'm bringing in Whole bunch of little elements. Okay. Oop, do I have a scrap? Yep, I think this is my scrap. Let me see what I'm doing here. Let's keep my <laughs> figure out what I'm doing. Okay, I've got pretty peacock ink. Oh my gosh, Linda Gilbert says she finished off 60 Halloween cards and 60 birthday cards to send off to the nursing home. Bless your heart. That is awesome. And Barbara loves my bracelet. Thank you very much, Barbara. I really do too. I We have a floral shop that's in Menasha here and they have jewelry that somebody makes. And I, I always check out the jewelry when I go to that shop because their stuff is very unique and very pretty. And I like that. So I'm just gonna stamp the little Merry Christmas there in the pretty peacock ink. And I'm going to cut this out. Now this is just a really simple little rectangle and I'm leaving a little bit of a white margin on both ends of it. Because I like that. Okay, there we go. That's what I've done. And I'm going to put some mini dimensionals on the back of that layer and set it aside for a second. And I'll get these peeled off right away so it's ready to roll. Now, if you see this stick to something and get carried away, tell me. <laughs> because I can't tell you how many times that's happened. Then I'm going to grab that one and three quarter inch circle punch and punch out a white circle. And then I've got a scrap of our copper foil here. And that's in the starburst punch. I'm going to stamp this ornament from the Christmas Gleaming stamp set. This is a really nice stamp set, love it. We're gonna stamp that on a scrap of Pretty Peacock. And there's two punches that come in this bundle, a little one and a big one. We're gonna punch this out, obviously, with the big one, because this is the big ornament. Get this lined up in here. Uh, there we go, okay. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of that. I shouldn't be this hungry. I just ate yogurt. Well, I guess it was at 6 o'clock and it's almost 8. So maybe I should be hungry. Um, here we go again. I'm going to take my snail adhesive and add the circle. Now, this... Starburst punch matches with the um, two inch punch perfectly, but this using the one and three quarters gives you a little bigger margin here, and I like that. Then we're gonna add our ornament to that. And then I wanted to, where's those stars? I wanna put one of these stars on here. 
And I'm gonna put that right up here at the top of my ornament. Isn't that just pretty? I just love that. Okay, next we're doing a little punchy with the detailed trio punch. So I'm going to round off two corners on the, um, this is, what size is this? Hang on. Da, 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 da. This is three and three quarters by four and a half. And it left the backing paper on there. Did you see that? Yeah. This paper has a special coating on the back. That one it punched off. Okay, so we just rounded those two corners. And then I'm going to bring in this layer, which is three and a half by four and a quarter, and I'm gonna round the corners on that. Only two again. Okay, so we've got that. Then we're gonna come over here to this little design element and punch that and that, okay? Look at how neat that is. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna stamp this and be jolly this season. Let me stand up so I can see if I can get this straight. Oh, looks great. Oh, see, look at, see how that tried to get away from me? Yeah. We're gonna put this right up here in the middle. Let's see if I can center it and get it straight. Yay, I think I did pretty good. And then we're gonna put this on here. There we go. Now, this is that Brightly Gleaming Designer Series paper that I showed you, all this gorgeous paper. This is a specialty paper because it's got copper foil embossing on it. And I'm going to grab my tear and tape and tear off the little piece here and put it on the end, on one end. This piece is one and a half by ten and a half inches long. And I'm going to find my bag. Oh, here it is. Yep, here's my bag. I'm going to take the end and I'm going to put it like kind of in the middle here. And then I'm going to fold this. And then I like to pull it off and make sure that it's folded straight. And put this back on here. And we're going to come around the other side. Just like that. And one thing I like to do with this, because I don't want my belly band going any place, is I'm going to take a little piece of tear and tape and I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm getting out my Take Your Pick tool to pull that backing off. That looks great. And then we're going to do this and pull this one off. Put that right on there. And now my belly band isn't going to slip and go any place. Here comes. Um, oh, I just screwed that up. <laughs> hmm, that's interesting, Kelly. How did you do that? Okay, so my seam should have been over here more, but it'll be fine. Put your seam way over there. Uh, ribbon. This is gorgeous. We're going to wrap this around that belly band. And of course you can embellish something like this any way you want. This is just how I chose to do it. But once you get this little card pattern down, you can go crazy with it. It's really fun. And I'm just going to tie this in a knot, maybe. And maybe not. There we go. And trim it off. Okay, we have that going on. Then we're going to bring this in with some dimensionals. See that seam right there? You can see that seam. It should be over here. Don't be dumb like I was. Well, I'm not dumb, but I just wasn't paying attention. So yeah, I hate it when people say they're dumb. So I shouldn't say that because it's like, nope, you're not dumb. There are dumb people. <laughs> we are part of that, right? <laughs> we do some dumb things once in a while. I'll be the first one to admit that whole deal. Okay, so we've got two dimensionals right here. And now I'm going to bring this ornament in and center that over my belly band. Are you ready? Are you ready? This 
gets tucked in that little pocket that's right there. And let's see, here's a little gift card. It fits right in there. And that is exactly what this is. It's a little gift card holder. You can write your message on here. And you can fit your little gift card right in there. Do you guys want to see some other ones that I made? Yeah. Hang on. Because I went a little crazy. How about this one? This is the Mossy Meadow Designer Series Paper with the little ornament. I put a star right in the middle there. And we've got a gift card in here. And don't freak out because I'm showing you these numbers. These are old Visa gift cards. They're long ago used up. But there's that one. And then I also made one with the Knight of Navy and those stars. Look at I did the same thing here, you guys. There's my seam for my designer series paper. What a knucklehead. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah. You don't do that. There's our insert. This one actually has a little gift card in it. But if you wanted to make these and give them as a gift, like just the gift card holders, you can make up a pack of these and give them to somebody who gives gift card holders. For Christmas or birthdays or whatever put gift card here and that tells them exactly what's going to go on there and I promised I'd show you where I got this idea from right so here's these adorable now like I said I made this a few years ago this with this with the bag and here's the one that brought it back to life for me this is from my friend Ruth Bingle. She is a demonstrator out in California, and I just received this as a swap card from her. So, and she used the Let It Snow bundle of products. Isn't that super, super cute? Yeah. Love it. Okay. <sighs> There's your gift card holder. Now, again, you can use that for anything. You can use that for birthdays, for showers, for weddings, for anything. And I'm going to put this away because I have another card to share with you. How are we doing for time, you guys? Do you? It's already 8 o'clock. Do you want me to show you one more card or do you want me to save it for next week? What should I do? Let me know. Type in the comments. If you're tired and you want to go to bed, I will be happy to keep this next card and share it next time. Thank you guys so much for showing the love. I really, really appreciate it. See lots of hearts coming in there. Sometimes people ask, how do you do that? Well, if you click on the heart or the thumbs up, it makes those little emojis like jump up the screen. It's pretty neat. Makes me feel good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's the consensus? Should we be done or should we keep going? One more card? Of course the answer is yes, Lynn. I, I kind of knew it would be. But I just wanted to check because sometimes people start saying, oh, it took too long or whatever. So you can always come back and watch the replay. As soon as this live video is done, I always um, post it to my Facebook page. And you can fast forward and pause and do all this stuff with it. Hang on, I gotta get rid of this too. All right. The next card I'm gonna share with you was also a swap card that I received and um, fell in love with it immediately and I just kept looking at it and going, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So we're gonna be using the Nature's Beauty and the Everything Festive stamp set. This is in the Holiday Mini Catalog, and it's been overlooked by so many people. I've heard from people saying, oh, I didn't even know. I, I don't remember seeing that in the catalog. Well, it's in there, and it's called Everything Festive. Big greetings. I love it. This next card was actually um, designed by Susie Wood. She is a dear friend of mine from, I believe she's from Southern Iowa. I know that her and her husband are pig farmers, like big pig farmers. They have lots and lots of piglets. I remember when we were in Hawaii, um, Susie and her husband, Deke, he, they're both super, super nice people, got the phone call that their pig barn burned down. Yeah, while they're in Hawaii. Like, what are the chances, right? 
And I just remember feeling so bad because I'm sure they felt so helpless being like a million miles away from home and they couldn't do anything about it. And then they said, well, they couldn't do anything if they were there either. So it was pretty crazy. Okay, I got all the things out here. I've made a, quite a mess, as you can tell. By the way, before I forget to say anything, if anybody is new to this whole stamping thing and you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can contact me through my email. This is actually my website address, but you can go to Kelly at astampabove.com and email me. I'd be happy to mail you catalogs. Now, if you already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, that's fine. You just stick with your demonstrator. Um, you can ask them for catalogs. I'm sure they'd be happy to give them to you. But if you don't have one, I'm here. <laughs> oh, and then I'm using snowflakes from the Snowman Season stamp set. So I just wanted to share that with you. All right, here we go. You guys ready for all the coolness that is about to happen? Dimensions. This is cool. So this is five and a half by five and a half and it's early espresso ink ink cardstock hang on i'm gonna scroll up nothing is scrolling here oh wait a minute i gotta come back and talk to you about this oh hang on things are falling my paper just went right over the edge it was my basket was top heavy but I do need to talk to you about this. This is the Nature's Beauty stamp set. Now, this is a special stamp set that Stampin' Up! has designed and, and is selling where everybody who buys the stamp set, $3 from the cost of the stamp set is being donated to mental health organizations around the world. And what I mean by that is those sets that are um, ordered in the United States the money, the $3, is being donated to a mental health organization in the United States. When it's sold in the Netherlands, it's being donated to a mental health, in, um, um, mental health organization in the Netherlands and Australia and UK and so on and so forth. So I just wanted to let you know that. But this is one of those sets that when you buy it, you're going to be doing good. And I love that. And of course, these images are so beautiful. So... It's called Nature's Beauty, and again, you're going to find a full shopping list on my blog when after we're done and I get all the photos done, so I just want to let you know that. Did I just see Joni Doucette on here? Hang on. My screen is not scrolling again. Well, if I did, I can't find her. Okay. Oh. Hm. Debbie says, 52 sheet pickup. Well, it wasn't that bad, but my basket got top heavy and tipped over my my designer paper went flying. This is early espresso and it's five and a half by five and a half. We are going to score this. Oh great, I didn't write it down, but I know what it is. We're gonna score this at four and a quarter. So it's square, it doesn't matter which side, we're gonna score it at four and a quarter. Okay, so that leaves us with a one and a quarter inch border right here. Did anybody see my bone powder? Here it is. Yes, Kim is asking if early espresso is darker than the old chocolate chip. Yes, it is. It's a darker, richer color. That's a good question. Then I've got a scrap of early espresso. Hang on. A piece of Whisper White. This is four by five and a quarter. And we're going to bring in some crumb cake ink here. And those snowflakes from that um, snowman season. Yeah, that's what it's called. Stamp set. I always want to call it Let It Snow, but it's not called Let It Snow. It's from the Let It Snow Suite. You're just going to take that and stamp a few snowflakes right in that corner up there. And then I'm using the From Our Home to Yours. And that's from the Everything Festive. We've got Valentine's Day, Halloween. Uh, from our host to yours has some snowflakes. So winter, winter wonderland, be my valentine with the P.S. I love you. Merry and bright, wishing you peace, love, and laughter in the new year. So we've got New Year's, Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, all in one stamp set. Very cool, right? I love it when they do that. All right, we've got early espresso ink here. 
Oh, um, hang on. Jackie is asking if that um, gift card holder fits in an envelope. And that's a really great question. Let me grab it. What did I do with it? Oh, they're right here, you guys. Hang on. Yes, this does fit in an envelope. So here's an envelope, and it fits right in there. Yep. Yay, good question. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't show you that. I should have stamped an envelope to match that, but I didn't. I forgot. There's a lot of things to remember, right? So this is a lot of pressure, you guys. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I love this. Okay, let me stand up so I make sure I get my words straight here. This is Early Espresso ink, okay? And then we're going to put this right inside our card. Right down here. There we go, okay? <laughs> kind of weird looking, right? Now, I am using our Pressed Petals Designer Series paper. And, whoops, whoops, hang on, things are falling. Just out of the packet. This, remember this paper, you guys? I've used this for several projects now. All this beautiful paper. This is a specialty paper. It's a little thinner than our regular paper. Look how pretty that is, right? Well, one thing that's really cool in here is we've got, hang on, that's getting stuck. We've got some um, burlap. That's nice, right? And then we've also got this wood grain. So very cool to be in with the flowers. And it's kind of a, I don't know, kind of an old country shabby chic look when you use the wood grain and the burlap and the flowers. I love it. We're going to take this piece and add it to that little tab on the left side of our card. Right here. Just like that. Okay, whoops, I gotta put that back. Then we've got, um, this is our scrap. And I wanted to do just a little bit of embossing. So I've got that cute little winter wonderland here. We're going to wipe this with our embossing buddy. And <laughs> I'm, I meant to do this. Not that. So we're going to use this end because I didn't really stamp it good. Holy cow. Close up your ink pad. And bring in my white embossing powder. Isn't that going to be pretty? Yes, it is. Um, then we're going to heat set this, heat set it, and then we're going to cut it out with one of the layering ovals dies, and it's going to look like this, just like magic, right? Let me get this closed up. So we've got that. Next, we're going to do our really cool technique. And here we go. This is the woodland embossing folder. And when you open up the folder, one side is indented. So here my trees are popping up. This side, the in-between, is popping up. You want to use where it says the name on the label here. You want to use this piece right here. And we're going to take this. Let me get it on some white so you can see what's going on here. We're going to take this, and we are going to ink our deer up in early espresso ink. And we're going to stamp that deer right here. Isn't that cool? Then there's these little scrubby brush things. And we're going to stamp those in here too. Okay. Hang on, I'm bringing in the big shot. Here comes our big shot. Oops, things are getting pushed around. Um, I need my other platforms. Okay, so I've got my regular Big Shot platform. 
This folder is not a 3D folder, so you don't have to do anything special with it. But we're gonna take a piece of Whisper White. This is two and three quarters by four and three eighths, and we're gonna lay it over top of the deer. Just like that. <laughs> Try to keep it in place. You don't want it to be smeared around because remember we've got ink on that embossing folder. And now we're going to emboss it. Oh, Anne says she just got this set. Yay, Anne. Anne is one of my discount shoppers on my team. And I think she might be coming to my stamp camp. I've never met her, so I'm going to get to meet her, and I'm excited about that. <gasps> Look at that. Is that not so cool, you guys? It is so cool. So next thing we're going to do, you can take this embossing folder, and you can um, just rinse it off in the sink or you can just take something damp, your chamois would even work, and wipe that off. So it's all clean, ready to go again. Now one thing that I want to do, and I'm wondering where did my aqua painter go? Here's another one. I bet you it fell over when my basket fell over. But anyways, we're going to take an aqua painter and if you do this right away, your ink is a little wet. And you can come in here and you can color your animal. Hang on a second. This is kind of a little damper than I want it to be. Ooh, I'm running out of Kleenexes. So I'm just going to bring this in here, wipe off some of that water. Okay. And all it does is make the ink bleed a little bit so you can color your deer. Your deer is going to stand out. It's going to really make it pop. And I love these deer images because they are beautiful. They're very nicely drawn. Um, the concept artist at Stampin' Up! did an amazing job with the deer, with all the animals in this set. They're very realistic looking. I was so impressed. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you could also take a sponge... Here's a sponge and your crumb cake ink. If you want to, you don't have to. Just a little bit. I'm just going to rub that on my tree a little bit. And that's going to make those little notches in the birch trees <clears throat> pop a little bit. And I'm just kind of wadding my sponge up like this and rubbing it against the trees a little bit. Okay, next, there's more. Don't worry. We aim to please here. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. I got a dry spot in my throat. You know, this is probably the most that I ever talk. <laughs> I mean, I talk a lot. I shouldn't say that, but I mean, out loud. Like, I'm in my office most of the time by myself, right? There's not a lot of chit chat that goes on in here with myself. I do talk to myself. I tell myself that I'm a genius a lot. <laughs> Like, if I, if I, like, come up with something really good that I think is really good, I'll go, oh, my gosh, I'm a genius. <laughs> so, yeah. I say that to myself a lot. It helps with my self-esteem issues. Okay. I don't have any self-esteem issues. You guys know that. We're going to take, this is our shimmery crystal effects. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to push some of it out here on the branches, just on the edge, the upper edge of the branches. And just like that. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do a little bit of scribble. I'm going to kind of spread this around a little bit. You can do as much here as you want or as little or not at all. But I thought this would just look really cool. And I've got a piece of paper here. And now we've got the ice stampin glitter and i have to tell you how impressed i am with this stuff because you know how glitter like has static in it and it kind of sticks all over and it never really all the way comes off your paper look at how beautiful that is and you've got just the edges of the trees that have some snow caught on them right um this doesn't do that there's no static in this glitter like once you put it in there, there's nothing left on my paper. And so if you're not a big fan of glitter because of that, this is your ticket. Again, Ice Stampin' Glitter. This is in the Holiday Mini Catalog. 
Um, you can just type in ice stamp and glitter on in my online store search engine and you'll find it. But absolutely gorgeous, right? Okay, now I'm going to add this to our brown layer. And this one is uh, three by four and five eighths. Now, it, it does take a little bit for that um, shimmery crystal effects to dry. And the reason why I used this is because, number one, it's clear. Number two, it's thick. It's thicker than, let's say, our fine tip glue pen or something like that. But yeah, isn't that just so pretty? Okay, next. Keep going. We're almost done, you guys. We're going to take and put dimensionals on the very edge of this layer. Now you have to be careful because you don't want them to fall over the layer and stick to the inside of your card because then your card isn't going to open, right? I don't want that. We're going to peel those off. I've got a couple more cards, I think a couple more cards to show you too using this stamp set and this layout. Okay, there we go. And then we've got our Winter Wonderland here. And I'm going to add dimensionals to that. Yes, yeah, so I think when I'm done here, I am going to go get some chili. I'm really hungry. Oh my gosh, isn't that so pretty? Hang on, we got one more thing here. I want to do a little Baker's Twine Bow. Um, I'm going to just do a double. Susie put one on hers too, and I'll show you that because she used different colors than I did. But yeah, my friend Susie, she is the sweetest person ever. Her husband is super nice too. I always enjoy, I get to vacation with them when we go on the Stampin' Up! incentive trips. Like I have all these vacation friends or Stampin' Up! events. I'm hoping that Susie will be at the onstage in Lansing next month because I'm headed to Michigan for an event. Mini glue dot, and then I just put that little bow right there. Look at this, you guys. Is that not, oh, I've got some white embossing powder on the back there. Is that not just the coolest card? Yeah, let me show you the other ones. Now this was Susie's, oh, wait. Hang on, we gotta do this first. I closed up my ink pad. We need to stamp our envelope to match. Oh, <laughs> oh my lord, it's getting dangerous in here. <clears throat> there we go. There's that pretty deer. Hang on, because this just fell in the ink, and I know I'm going to get it. Yep, see, look at all the brown ink on there. If I would have rubbed that on my card, I would have been so mad. Get this out of the way. Here was my aqua painter, by the way. It was laying right here in this tray. Amazing it didn't bite me. All right, there we go. There's our pretty little deer card. Nature's Beauty, $3 from um, the sale of this set goes to mental health organizations around the world. And then we have, um, this one was Susie's. And she used the burlap from that pressed petals. See, I used the wood grain, she used the burlap here in crumb cake, whereas I used early espresso. So that was beautiful. And then I decided to try my luck with the fox. What do you guys think? Do you like the fox? I used Susie's burlap over here. Same dimensions, everything the same, except I just used the fox in there. Yeah, Anne says, seriously gorgeous. Yay! Thank you so much. Well, thanks, Susie, because Susie's the one who came up with this fabulous idea. Oh yeah, Elizabeth, I should have used the black dimensionals because you probably wouldn't see those in there. That's a great idea. I do have them on my desk. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, Barbara says she's been stamping for forever and never knew that you could stamp on the embossing folders. Yes, ma'am, you sure can. It's just a really cool technique. And Penny has a deer roaming in their neighborhood all the time. I saw a deer running down the street. Oh, somebody wants to see closer. How's that look? Anne wanted to see closer. 
I hope that my lighting is okay. It's always challenging with the lighting. And here comes the deer. Yeah. We had a deer running down our street one day. I looked out the window and there's a deer running down the street. And I like blinked. I'm like, is that for real? And it was. And I live right in the city. So that was kind of crazy. Okay. Oh, thank you, Joanne. Joanne said these cards are amazing. All right. Let me bring the cards back out. So in case you tuned in late, you can see what we made here. We've got, these are gift card holders. And I've got uh, something stuck here. Oh, there we go. Gift card holder, gift card holder, gift card holder. And then, then our fun little get well turtle dude. Right? He is super, super cute. Love him. Is that all in this? Yep, I guess I got it all in there. Yay me! All right, you guys. Like I said, oh, thank you, Susie. Susie says my lighting is wonderful. Arla says she's got some great ideas now. Oh, and Linda said they saw elk running on the streets. Oh, yeah, I did too, Linda. We were in Montana. Yes, we saw elk in the streets too. It was pretty crazy, right? Um, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to be live next Sunday. I'm thinking that I will be, but it all depends on if I have enough time to get something made before I have to leave on Wednesday. Headed to Chicago for a day, staying overnight with some fellow demonstrators to do some technology training with them. And then I am headed to Iowa for a stamping retreat where I'm going to be a guest demonstrator with a creative demonstration. And I don't know what I'm doing yet. Yep, that's how I roll, you guys. <laughs> Seems kind of insane, and that would give a lot of people hives, but not me. I come up with my best stuff under pressure, so I do work better under pressure. All right, did I miss any questions? This is a good time to ask any questions. Joanne has a mama deer and a couple of babies with her in the green belt behind their house. Yep. I saw three deer today on my walk through the nature preserve. We have a nature preserve here in Menasha, and I like to ride my bike over there and then park my bike and go for a really quick walk. Like, I, I don't mean like it only takes me a couple minutes, but I fast walk. I walk really fast all the way around the outside through the woods. And if I don't see deer, I'm really disappointed. Like, I almost always see the deer. So, and you're so welcome. Everybody's saying thank you for the um, fun ideas. You're so very welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Now, remember, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you need the catalogs, kelly at a stampabove.com. Get in touch with me with an email. I'd be happy to send you catalogs. If you would like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders, www.astampabub.com. That's where you're going to find my blog. In the right-hand column is an online ordering button. This is my current host code. You can always find that in the right-hand column. And if you would like to join my team as a discount shopper, you will love it. Why not get a discount on all these products that you're buying? It's the best of all worlds. I would love to have you. There's a lot of benefits to being on my team. Whether you're a business builder or a discount shopper, I do not discriminate. And uh, you'll have a blast just like everybody else's. Yeah. All right. I think I don't see any other questions here. I'm scrolling as fast as I can. I need to pee. <laughs> Is that too much information? Like I'm sitting here with my legs crossed going, I'm hungry and I got to pee. <laughs> all right, you guys, I will let you all know um, if I'm going to be live next Sunday, uh, Sunday morning. I will, I always post a, I'll be live tonight thing. So watch for that. Oh, Susan said, Kelly, where is the glue you used for the glitter? Oh, that's a great question. Hang on. It is in the holiday mini catalog, and all you need to do, Susan, is go to your online store or my online store and type in shimmery, shimmery, crystal effects. It's in the holiday mini catalog, and it is shimmery. It's like really, really pretty, iridescent, um, clear, liquidy, gluey like stuff. So that's a great question. Thank you for asking. And Cindy says she hasn't heard from her leader in over a year. I'm really sorry, Cindy. Um, you know, a lot of people go through a lot of different things. And 
I know a lot of people who sign up with their friend and then their friend quits. And when you do decide to become a discount shopper or a business builder, you really need to go with somebody who is very active, like me. Hang on, my throat's dry again. <coughs> that will give you the support that you need, whether it's creative ideas you're looking for <coughs> or whether you're looking to build a business. You need somebody who can help you guide you to be able to furnish you with the ideas and all the tools you need to um, successfully do that. And don't forget, we are independent demonstrators, so everybody can do all the things differently. You're an independent demonstrator. Um, who just asked me this? Kim just asked me what the glitter is. It's called Ice Stampin' Glitter, and it's also in the Holiday Mini Catalog. I love this stuff. There's no static. You saw that it didn't stick to my paper, right? Oh, so Cynthia said that she was a bigger demonstrator. She went on the incentive trips and then she's got nothing. Well, I would be happy to... <laughs> no, you're already a demonstrator. I, th I was thinking I would be happy to be your demonstrator, but you're already a demonstrator. I'm really sorry. And um, yes, yeah, sometimes that's the way it goes. Did she have somebody above her that you can get in touch with and get added? You know, because... We go down three lines, so that means, you know, she probably had, um, yeah, Sharon says no coughing, you know what will happen. My legs are crossed, sister. <laughs> no, it's way too much information. Um, anyways, there might be somebody above her that you can contact and ask to be added to their group. Oh, hi, Haley. My daughter Haley just popped on. Oh, Becky Christensen's on here. Becky, we do miss you. A lot. And Haley's on here. Haley tried to hook up with me, well, with me and her dad to give us her wedding photos, but her dad's gone, and then I'm leaving, and Anna's moving tomorrow, and Haley goes, well, we'll meet at Tuesday at 345, and you both better be able to be there. She's going to lose her. You know what? <laughs> I laughed. I'm like, it's hunting season. You can't expect us to all be in the same place at one time. Okay. I'm going to let you go. Oh, and Kathy says, Haley, hi, Haley. She loved your video, and I did too. Sandy, you can't say that. You can't say that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. I am. Oh, Gaylene says the one she signed up under passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry. And there's nobody above her, huh? You might want to check into that. That's really sad. Okay, you guys, I got to let you go. I'm going to wet my pants and I might gnaw my arm off. So, you guys have yourselves a wonderful week. Thank you so much for um, joining me tonight. And remember, all of these projects, all the dimensions, I've got all of this stuff to type up. I will put this on my blog as soon as I can get it on there. But I have to go eat and pee. And then I'll be back so that you will have all this information. All right, that's it. I am signing off for the night. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.